By three years of age, it's estimated that four out of five dogs have periodontal disease. What begins as a reversible gingivitis can progress to recession of the gums and may lead to permanent loss of gum and periodontal bone, gradual loss of tooth attachment, and potential loss of the tooth itself. Canine periodontal disease is initiated by bacteria naturally present in the dog's mouth. The bacteria interact with nutrients to form plaque, a biofilm on the tooth surface. If plaque is not removed, it hardens into calculus, which gradually thickens and resists easy removal. Oxygen cannot penetrate the calculus. As a result, the population of aerobic bacteria present in the healthy mouth shifts to anaerobic pathogens as periodontal disease progresses. The anaerobes, also known as black pigmented anaerobes, proliferate in biofilm, where they release toxins. The body responds to the toxic insult by producing tissue-destructive enzymes within the gingiva. The combination of toxins and enzymes first causes gingivitis, a reversible inflammation of the gums. Left untreated, the tissue destructive process goes deeper into subgingival tissue to create periodontal pockets. Destruction of the periodontal ligament, which holds the tooth in the jaw, occurs. Significant thinning and loss of periodontal bone further contribute to tooth instability, potential tooth loss, and can compromise the integrity of the jaw itself. 